Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today is going to be another fix it video. Another video where I've bought something faulty off eBay and I do my best to fix it. Now I can tell by the size of this that I'm pretty sure that it is a balance board. You know, like a hoverboard or a Segway, whatever they're called. So uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, here it is. Right, so it comes in its box. Apparently, it's uh, faulty. One, one of the wheels or something, one side doesn't go round. So let's uh, take it out of the box. And then I'll show you the eBay listing. Right, okay. So we have a, a manual there, a load of old packaging, power supply. This thing looks brand new. I would say that this, I don't think this has been used. I think this was probably taken out of the box, not working. And then uh, sent straight back. That hasn't been used, has it? Look at those wheels. It's even got the little bits coming out of the tyres, you know, the little rubber bits, and there's no scrapes in that. As soon as you start using these, they get bashed up and stuff, so I don't think that's been used, which is a good thing. Right, let me show you what I paid for it. Right, so I paid £45 plus £8 postage, so £53 in total, and it says here, smart balance wheel drifting LED scooter board black faulty and if you look at the description there's plenty of pictures it just says smart balance wheel drifting led scooter board black faulty one side red flashing four photos comes with power units sold as seen no refund or return so uh, hopefully this might be nice if it was an easy fix what i'm going to do to begin with is i'm going to turn it on see exactly what it's doing and I'm wondering whether it just needs calibrating or not, because often on these, if you hold down the power button for I think it's five or six seconds, then it kind of recalibrates it, because sometimes if they were calibrated when they're out of sync like that, then they don't work properly. So uh, you never know, it could be, could be something simple. Right, first things first, let's actually turn this thing on, see what it's doing. Right, okay, so we have got a red flashing light there. Yeah, and it's completely, completely dead. Right, so we're going to turn it off and we're going to make sure it's dead level and then we're going to try and recalibrate it. So what I'm going to do now is this little on and off button here, this one here, I'm going to hold in for around five seconds. I think there's lights around the front here. Maybe it'd be best for me to do it this way because then we might be able to see the lights. Right, so make sure it's nice and level. Now I'm going to hold this in for around five seconds. One and two, and three, and four, and five. Now I'm going to let go. I'm just going to leave it for a while, see what it's doing. I'm not sure how long you have to leave it for. Right, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll turn it off now and see if that's done it. Seems to be doing the same thing over and over again. So right, that's off. Now let's turn it back on. No, still flashing there. Uh, still flashing red. Right, I'm going to do that one more time. Right, hold it down again. up there let me let me do that again so I'm holding it down I'm gonna keep holding it for longer this time well it doesn't say anything in here about how to calibrate it but it definitely does something when you work uh, when you hold it down so uh, I'm gonna turn it off now because it's not doing anything different now turn it back on again no, it's still the same. So it's showing a full battery, but there's just no power there at all. So I think we are going to have to take this apart. Now, I just want to plug in the charger just to see what happens when we plug in the charger. 
case you haven't seen any of my videos before, I don't claim that these are how-to videos. I haven't got a clue. I've never taken one of these or fixed one of these uh, before, so what you see in the video is probably not the correct way of doing things. Blue light means charging, green light means charge, full or disconnect. Right, okay, so if we unplug that it should go to green. Right, okay, so it is. it does appear to be charging. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's take this apart and see if we can see what's wrong with it. There's just a load of screws underneath it and I don't actually know what side is faulty because it's a, a red light, neither side are working. So, I don't know why, I, I sort of thought that it might be just one side that was faulty. Right, so I'm going to undo all these screws, there's quite a few of them around the place so uh, it's going to take a while. Right, there's just going to be a wire, I presume, connecting up the, the lights. Well, actually, there's quite a few wires in this one. Right, I'm going to just leave that loose for the time being. Because it's not just the lights at the front, there's also the uh, on and off switch and the charge socket at the back, so they're all joined via cable, so I can't just pull it off. Right, okay, so there's just a little connector here to undo the light, so that's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull that one out there. Right, so we now have access to the battery here. It says it's a Samsung battery, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Oh, oh look, 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 look. Here we go. Check this out. I see a connector that's not connected. Can you see that there? Now, if those two marry up, I wonder whether it's as simple as that. Look, can you see? That looks like it should go in there. Please don't explode on me. Look at that. Right, that plugged in nice, didn't it? Right, I wonder, I say I wonder, I'm really hopeful because they were both next to each other. It's weird how it was done though, because I don't think this has been used. I think this wasn't done up in the factory unless it was unless it was just, you know, put in and not clicked into place, because now that's fully in. Oh, that would be a result. Right, okay, uh, let's zoom out a bit. I'm not going to do anything else. Well, actually, let's have a quick visual inspection, see if everything else looks okay. I suppose it does make sense because there was no power to either of the... There was no power anywhere, was there? Is the battery supposed to be more pushed in over there? Yeah, I wonder what stops that battery from moving around. Just a case of just everything crushed in. Maybe that was it, maybe it got knocked and the battery fell out this way which put pressure on this and knocked it out. I would have thought that that battery would have been stuck in a bit better. Let's see if these are loose or not. No. You'd think as well that these wires would be put in over the cage of the battery, not in it. That looks a bit dodgy. I wonder whether the person putting this one together didn't know what they were doing. Or whether it's supposed to be like that. It's just a bit worrying that everything's crushed into, crushed into place. These have movement on them. And I suppose this does have a plastic sleeve on it. So maybe it's supposed to be like that. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's jump on it. Right, excuse my, I'm in bare feet, excuse my, uh, excuse my feet. Yeah, lights are working. Right, okay. Right, let me get some, uh, let me get some trainers on so you don't have to look at my feet and I'm going to go in the garden and uh, give this thing a go. Okay, so we're outside now. Let's turn it on. Look 
That seems seems sensitive. There we go. As you can see, I'm not uh, I'm not very good, but the uh, the lights and stuff, the lights and stuff work. It's supposed to. I think it's they flash when they go backwards. Yeah, that works fine. Now, before I break my neck, I think I'm going to uh, give it to my son to have a go on. I'm going to put the cart on, and then show you the show you the cart working. But there you go, Vic. There you go. I'm getting a bit better. Woohoo! Right, okay, step off backwards. There we go. You can tell I'm not used to it. Right, okay, I'm going to get the uh, cart working, but that appears to be just fine. Okay, so this is the cart, and you can see how simple it is. All it is is a seat with a wheel at the front. I mean, this one has LEDs on it, you know, which makes it a little bit more expensive, but none of that's necessary. You can adjust the length of it, and then basically all you're doing is you're moving this forward to make it go forward, and you're moving this to make this wheel go back. Same with the other one there. So when you want to go forward, you push both of them forward. When you want to go back, you do both of them back. Good thing is, when you get used to it, you know, they, kids and stuff start doing wheelies and stuff on it, so I'm going to show you my uh, son on it now. But basically, it makes it a completely different toy, because with the balance board, it can go on like short grass, but then you can struggle a little bit if it's a bit uneven, because obviously you're worried you're going to get put off balance. But on this thing, it's fine, because you're sat down, so you can go over much rougher terrain when you're on this, and things like you can do wheelies and stuff to get it over stuff. So, uh, you know, when you're, you're out and about, I mean, this just, it's just brilliant. And it really is. The kids absolutely love it. So it's such a simple idea, but it makes two toys in one because you've got your balance ball for when you're standing up. And then you've got a little go-kart that you can whiz round on like this. So I'm just going to show you my son on it now, whizzing around the garden. So here we have my son, Ben, on the uh, broken balance ball, which is no longer broken because it was just a faulty connector. So uh, take it away, Ben. The good thing about it is... You don't need as much skill when you've got it on the go-kart because you haven't really got to balance as much. And it's no bother when you go across things like grass. And when you get good at it, you can actually do little skids around the corner. I know that's not going to be good for the balance board or the tyres, but it's still fun. Try to do a little wheelie, Ben. There we go. Right, so as you can see, this one turned out to be a bit of a bargain because I don't believe that this one's been used before. I think this was uh, brand new, I think it arrived faulty, and uh, yeah, it was just sent straight back to the shop. So what a lovely fix. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. If you did too, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more Fix-It videos and also more how-to videos. Take care, bye now. Say bye, Ben. Bye.